Hey guys, um, in this tutorial I'm going to go over how to apply gradients to shapes and kind of some of the different options you can do with that. Um, so I'm just in InDesign, that's what I'm going to be using, and um, I'm going to just create like just a random shape. I'll just create a square, and I'm going to give it a stroke on the outside, and I'm just going to fill it in. Oops. So let's say like I want the fill color to fade from like like blue to red. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you want to go to your gradient. Well, first select your shape. Um, select your shape, and then go down to this area right here. And it's kind of hard to see, but you can see that the blue color is on the top, which is what you want. Um, and I'll kind of explain that a little bit more later. But um, then you want to go up to your gradient swatch, uh, swatch tool on the left and double click it. And then this will pop up. And then you want to click this box right here. And that applies a gradient. Um, obviously that's not what I want. So I'm going to show you how to change it. Uh, so like I said, I want it to fade from blue to red, and I'm going to try to get it to fade vertically instead of horizontally. So in order to change the colors, um, you want to click on the white tab, and you can see that it's selected because it, it, there's a white border around it now. Um, and since we're editing the fill color, I'm going to double click on the fill box. Um, so I want it to be blue. So I'm going to change it. So now you can see it's changed. I'm going to do the same thing with the other, the black color. And I think I said red. I can't remember. <laughs> um, let's change that to red. Um, but it's still horizontal. So I'm going to change that. So in order to change that, you go down to the angle. And I'm going to change it to 90 degrees. So now it's vertical. I mean, the same thing applies like if you want it to, to be diagonal can change it to 45 or whatever so but I want it to be vertical so I'm gonna do um, 90 degrees and also like if you want it to be red to blue instead you can just hit reverse and it flips it around um, and you can also change it to be radial too if that's what you want but for this I want it to be linear um, so that's the fill color so like Say you want to change the outline color to be a gradient also. Um, make sure your shape is selected. And then go back down to the left here. And as you can see, the fill color is still on top. Um, but you want the outline color to be on top. So you just click this outline shape. And now that's, that's what we're working with now. So you go back to your gradient tool. And you click it. And now you can see it's applied it. To our outline um, but I want it to be um, let's just say I want to change the colors of it so I'm gonna go click this blue color and then go up to the outline color box and double click it and then just change the color to whatever you want and then you can just do the same thing um, just change it and then there you go. So now both uh, the fill and the outline colors have gradient supplied. I um, hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.